Hello everyone, welcome to the stream. I am Modi101 and we are back in Ignomatica 6. Picking a little bit after we left off. Had a little bit of a busy week so didn't get to do as much off-camera work as I would like to. But I was able to kind of set up our little market out here. Got a couple of different guys, moved our tables out here, made some crates. We got this one nitwit stuck in the loom. That seems right. That seems right. Hey, Ark. Drag. Captain America. Rebel. Rage. How you guys doing? Got a cardiographer. This guy hasn't changed. He's a leather worker, but I gave him a lectern, and he has not changed yet. So I don't know what's going on with that. So. But we do need to set up some lighting around here and a couple other things. But hey, Faye, how you doing? And uh, <clears throat> yeah, but I mean, we got so we got a leather worker over here. Is that right? Does the grindstone make a leather worker? Why do I have so many leather workers? This guy's a leather worker. It's just a cauldron. I don't know what the hell's going on. So anyways, but that can be worked on. But I mean, you know, it's better than a big empty spot. I think it looks... Decent. We could probably put a, I could put a little bit more flair into it, but you know, time permitting, time permitting. So, and look at this. I'm eating pizza. So, you know, that's how you know this game isn't real. All right. So, we got this guy set up. That is, if you guys missed it last time, this is our our kind of automatic uh, um, ingot set up, which I'm way too proud of so let's go put this guy back so we got to decide you know what we want to work on and what goes where and what when where and what how then you know that stuff all right this guy goes right there all right <clears throat> perfect so uh Today's been an interesting day for uh, anybody watching on YouTube. This is, uh, what, Tuesday the 16th, and uh, <clears throat> we uh, we took Randy Wade off to college today, so it's been, a, it's been an interesting day, you know, interesting. He's there now, first night. He's got a, he's got his dorm room to himself for the first night or two, because his, uh, roommate who is actually going here from India um, doesn't get here until the 18th. <laughs> Willie, thank you for the resub. Tier 1, one full year. Hi, Emoti and chat. 12 months. It's practically a year. Maybe I don't know how to do math. Eh, it, you know, it's a year. It's a year. It's a year-ish. It's close. So, Anyways, but yeah, this, uh, this auto... Uh, Smeltery thing is working out great. I don't quite know how uh, wonderful if we look at it. Like I, you know, still have to check on the lava and stuff like that. But yeah, the lava's still holding up pretty good. You can see it's pumping in, and then when it when it gets done, it's going to pour it out. It's going to go right back out, and that's uh, that's what it does. So very happy with that. The other three are not being used for anything so far. So. That's something we're going to work on. So what I want to kind of dip into, and I know we're all over the book, and I'm, and I'm just trying to, you know, get a feeling for a whole lot of things, um, <clears throat> is I kind of want to get into, because I'm, I'm bad at it. I'm bad at automation. Really bad. Um, even though I know it makes life easier, it feels like so much work, I don't want to do it. So... We can kind of see we got to st start here with red. This is redstone and logic, and then we have logistics point A to point B. So let's kind of see. We already did that one, so that, that kind of sucks. But we're gonna we're gonna kind of see if there's anything maybe new in here that we don't know a whole lot about. Um, so obviously we just gotta kind of click that, get a little bit of experience. There we go. Um, how many, what am I supposed to make? I made one. I wonder, let's see, let's pull this out real quick, let's go ahead and break this one, hopefully it gives it back, it does, alright, cool, alright, I'm going to stick that back there, it just goes right back to it, nice, um, get some honeycombs and some of that, yeah, bees might be a, a way to go, 
All right, so what do we got in here? What do we got in here that we're not we're not used to? The backpack, a filter upgrade. Hi, wizard. How you doing? <clears throat> Thank you, Gimme. Yep. So, uh, yeah, automation, man. All right, so we got to make a filter upgrade. All right, let's see if we can do this. Good. Mm -hmm. Upgrade. Now I'll probably make this stuff and just shove it in the chest or in the system, which hopefully I won't do that. We're missing the middle part here, this guy. Perfect. All right! Hey, hey, look at that! I hope you're feeling better, was worried. Accidentally fell asleep to one of your crash landing videos. Getting super busy with sister and my studies, trying to stay mentally upright. The Mahdi and Heather clan feels like one amazing and diverse family. There you go. Mahdi, Mahdi it is. I love how this thing messes up my name. Well, thank you so much, Bush League. I'm very, I'm very glad that, <clears throat> you know, here, you're glad to be here. I'm glad you're here. All right. Let's see. And I'm, and I'm proud that I named you, technically. All right, what are we getting down here? What is all this stuff? All right, let's you know what, let, let, let's 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 go down the road. Vandalin, thank you for the resub. Twitch Prime, twenty eight months. Wow, indeed, my friend. Wow, indeed. Um, all right. So what is this? Pretty Pipes is a powerful early game logistics system that will help keep you organized. Use pipes to move items from place to place, as pipes do. Filters and priorities to ensure items are ending up in the right location and access everything centrally from an item terminal or crafting terminal. Request-based auto-crafting is possible as well. Okay, all right. We got a pipe wrench. <coughs> you just got back? Welcome back. Yep, hype train started. We got 25 seconds to, to, get it, to keep it going. Monkey! Treat? Come up here, you gotta say hi. You gotta say hi. We've been working to say hi. Uh -huh. Whenever the camera's not on, she talks she won't she won't stop talking, but is that good, monks? Yeah. She wants nothing to do with any of us, so. Alright, so what is this? Uh, to get things moving you'll need some pipes. Craft up a bunch. Alright. Um Pretty pipes, pretty pipes, pipes follow a few fairly simple rules that are good to keep in mind when building with them. First, a section of pipe may only insert or extract. Therefore, to send items from one chest to another requires a minimum of two pipes. Okay, makes sense. Second, an item will never be routed back to the inventory it was extracted from. So it's not possible to simply loop pipe around a furnace, for instance, to feed the output back into it. Hmm. Intermediate storage inventory is required. Third, uh, pipe sections can be disconnected from an inventory by right-clicking them with a wrench. Okay. Oh, God. There's more rules in this. And it seems like, it's like I'm signing a... Hang on. Um, yeah, there you go. Uh, th let's see, uh, fourth, upgrade modules may be installed in a section of pipe by right-clicking the module on the pipe. Alternatively, right-clicking with an empty hand allows one to access the pipe to add, remove, or configure modules. Finally, pipes may be covered with most any block, even transparent or partial, or partial blocks. Simply hold the desired cover in your offhand and right click the section of pipe with the wrench to apply the block. Interesting. Okay, so let's see how do we make these things. It's gonna be a little bit of tin, a little bit of glass, and that's it. Well, we can do that. Alright, so let's go ahead and do that. So let's make 12, but we'll make 36, because that seems like a solid number. And that gives us Alchemist Delight, what do we get? Eye of the Blaze, that seems important. Alright, so let's let, let's kind of let's kind of toy with these things a little bit. Let's grab uh 
Uh, let's make some regular chests here. Oh my god, just let me make some chests. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Something like that. <clears throat> All right, this is highly unlikely. I'll be back in two seconds. Here. Sorry about that. I thought I heard Heather uh, choking to death. So, you know, I figured, you know. Uh, quick question, how well do the compact machines work in ultimate progression? Uh, you know, yeah, joking on pizza, yep. <laughs> it's like, is she dying? I should probably check to see if she's dying. So, not dying. All right, so let's, let's just, uh, do, do a little, little bit of testing with these bad boys here. Okay, I don't know if I'd use the word pretty per se, but alright, how do I Nope <coughs> Alright, how do I make things, you know You just ate pizza? You guys all eat gross stuff all right, so question is, how do we make this go? Nope, that's not it. Mm -mm. Maybe, that's my origin story. All right. Uh, how do we get these things? Do we, do we need this stuff? Put some on an exit way to ensure that only certain items end up in a given inventory. Insert them into the pipe selection adjacent to the inventory to be filtered on the receiving end. Filters can be upgraded with a number of useful modifiers such as MBT, tag, and mod filters. Insert these in the same section of pipe as the filter module. Alright, so we have a low filter module and a stack limiter module. Okay. <clears throat> tacos are good. I, I'm all out of pocket tacos, so, you know. It's trying to take out the ones I love. Uh, Alright, so do... I don't understand how I'm supposed to... Maybe is it a way that you put them on? Nope, that's not it. Alright, so let's also look here. What is this? Item routing. This is uh, three low. I like how the, this this mod's easy. You know. Retrieval and extraction modules are required if anything is going to get in here. Okay. So I need low retrieval module, low extraction module. Uh, let's see. Low. Retrieving? Low retrieval module. Oh, I don't need that stuff. Okay. So we're going to make some blank modules. We're missing copper nuggets. Let's get some of those. three of these and one two three of these and now we have our three retrieval ones uh, all right and then low extraction modules pretty much close to the same all right Alright, so there's those. Alright, so let, let's see, let's see. Pulls items from another inventory in the network. 
filters and pulls rates vary by their tier high tier for okay. Pulls items. So let's try let's try one of these guys. Alright. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. That's fun. Nice. Okay. Let's just try something real quick. Wait, what did that, how did that say to put these down? Mm -mm -mm. Uh, most any block. Uh -huh. Simply hold the desired cover in your offhand and right click a section of pipe. Okay. That didn't work. Do they have to be covers or can it just be any block? <laughs> Not what it told me to do. right click in the pipe that's left click right click with the wrench oh with the wrench is that what it said you're so smart you're such a smart guy you're so smart okay that's pretty cool and I can still get to the filters. Okay. All right. That's pretty neat. Oh, I'm, I'm going to come up here on this little platform. Wee! That's pretty fun. I enjoyed that. Now we can't see the... We can't even see the pipe. Oh, my God. We can't even see the damn pipe. All right. So let, let's try something here. Let's try something here. What if I put this guy here? And then I put this guy here. And then I put this in here. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Is that what the quest said? You're still smart, B Speed. Just, just take the win. Wait, where'd my filter go? I'll give it back. Wait for it. Ha <laughs> ha! Power we now possess. So now we can run these down in here and like and stuff. And we wouldn't even see them. Oh, they're magical. That's a pretty magical mod. Alright. Let's uh So obviously if we take this out, right? But we then put one of these over here. It should still do the same thing, right? Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Pulls items from the other inventories in the network. Filters and pull rates are right by tier. Oh, no, I gotta put, I gotta put something in there. Let's try this. Oh, there we go. Hot damn. Bink. Gone. I'm pretty sure this is how David Copperfield and David Blaine and all the Magic Davids pull this stuff off. It's all, it's, you know what it is? It's all pretty pipes. That's all magic is. Doesn't matter who you are. David Blaine, David Copperfield, uh, the Masked David. Um, why can't I think of any other magicians? David Houdini, um, the the great Davino. I'm sure there's one of those. All right, that's fun. All right, let's see what else we got here. All right, let's eat some let's eat some pizza. All right, so we got that. Now what is this? Item terminal. Oh, that sounds so sad. David down the street. Is that a magician? I'm sure. It is. The item terminal acts as a central access point for the entire pipe network. 
and shows the contents of every inventory on the network, excluding inventories connected via extraction, wait, via extraction and retrieval modules. Items may be acquired from the network by clicking the item, selecting a quantity, and pressing request. Oh, David Wonderstone? There's another one, yeah. Um, shift clicking the plus or minus for the quantity will increase. Okay. Uh, increase to use uh, by 10 at a time. Items may be easily dumped back into the network by placing them in the right hand slots. Alright, well, let's make this. Did you use your favorite magi magician? Now, what's this thing called? Item terminal. Mm -mm -mm. This fella here. What are we missing? Everything. Oh, we need, we need, the, we need the high end ones. Alright, alright. We'll, we'll, we'll upgrade. That's fine. That's fine. Give me this one back. It's mine now. <clears throat> yes, Burt Reynolds was a magician. Definitely. <laughs> oh, this one. Yeah, this one's got stuff in it. Alright. Um, item. What was it called? Terminal? Isn't that a, a movie? Or a new show or something like that? Chris Pratt? Item terminal. What am I? What, what did I do wrong? There we go. All right. Well, you know what? Actually, if you want to see the terminal, the item terminal, you have to come back next time, next episode, peoples. Uh, all right. I want to thank everybody uh, over on YouTube for watching. Like, subscribe, click that bell. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, make sure you. Uh, Make sure you go check out my Patreon. You can become Patreon to myself or Heather. Get access to our 12 Minecraft servers, our Discord, be in our Saturday streams. We just watched Beetlejuice with all the Patreons the other day. Um, plus, it helps support the channels. Uh, a lot of people you, you see in the chat, right, right in this area, some of these people are definitely Patreons, so you can come hang out with them. And, uh, yeah, and don't forget, if you want to get your own server, Head on over to Host Havoc. Use the link down below. That way, then you're coming from one of my videos. And until next time, I want to thank you guys so much for hanging out. And we'll see you guys later. Bye!